Alrighty, we are packing up, hooking the boat up. Uh, weather looks absolutely awesome today. A little bit of breeze, but yeah, have a look. So yeah, we're gonna launch at North Haven, off to Stansbury, straight across. Spend the night there, camp the night on the boat. First proper, or will be the first camp out on the boat on the water, so yeah, see if we can uh, get some King George whiting on the afternoon tide as the sun's going down. I can start by saying it now. Yeah, the boat's um, booked in to uh, Pacific Marine. It's got to get some uh, paint done on it for the warranty, some painting done. Um, when I change the rego over from uh, stickers over, I rip some paint off. So Bar Crusher are fixing that, paying that to get done. Um, yeah, trailer had, lights, mate. had some issues with the trailer lights from Easy Toe. Uh, another warranty job. They're replacing the tail lights as the tail lights have failed. Alrighty, ready we to go, mate? are ready to go. Hopefully, um, yeah, this time we can actually bring you guys a bit of fucking <laughs> content of actually catching yeah. some fish man it will happen boat's all rigged up we're um all packed up we're just gonna put the freezer in when we get to the boat ramp um to keep our bait nice and fresh so our mission is to clean up on some squid because our squid stocks of bait are getting low so that seems to be our bait of choice lately. I mean, the whiting. Love the squid. Love the squid, so. And then there's another spot we go, and um, yeah, all is what they'll take is cockle, so it depends where you go, what time of day, and yeah, just gotta feed the fish whatever they wanna eat. Righty, we gotta do a quick stop in a BCF or Anaconda. Which one do you guys prefer? I've been a bit of an anaconda person. Yeah, I've there. been used to be BCF and lean towards anaconda a bit more. Um, yeah, what do you guys like? Leave a comment. And uh, yeah, we need a torch. Um, I haven't got an actual legal waterproof torch on the boat. I broke the other one, so yeah. Don't want to be unsafe out of the water. All right, we got our little torch. See how this thing goes. It's a USB plug-in, rechargeable, nice parking. We're lucky to get a park here actually, so. Should be right. I only took us three parks, or three spaces anyway. Alrighty, first things first. You can't go out fishing when you're hungry, so. Chronicle beers before we go. Okay, lunch done right. Take the tailgate. Treasure chest prawns calamari from our local Barnacle Bills. Can't catch them by them, mate. Eh? That's it, mate. So, sitting here and the boats must be heating up and it's uh, dumping all its fuel. Not all of it, but. What a mess. It's not to go fishing, right? Off to the fish factory. Time to grab some ice. Best place in Adelaide to get your fresh ice if you're going out fishing for the day. 10 bucks for 20 kilo. 20 kilo? 10 kilo. 10 kilo bag of flake, flake ice. ice. This stuff lasts for days and days. Best ice in town. Freezer. Beautiful. Look at that. The stuff best. stays for days, man. Cannot 
cannot recommend it enough it is absolutely awesome do yourself a favor people come get some 10 bucks a bag can't go wrong icy for days okay ice is done we're ready to go fishing ready to go let's go they call me bruce he thinks he is fucking Bruce yeah, Almighty. I'm fucking it. Bruce from the fish factory. I mean, no, from Rain Ants. Rain Ants. Who goes to Rain Ants these days? Not really That more. bunch of bloody outback cowboys there, I reckon. Well, not with those places like the sports fishing scene. Yeah, mate. Even Tackle World. Tackle World, that's got shit stuff there. Adelaide Tackle World is pathetic. They've got. I went there looking for tuna skirts. Nah. Nothing. Nothing. They've got those giant big skirted lures for marlin and stuff like. We do a lot of that fishing around here, you know. <laughs> so they've got the biggest supply of them, but what for? Yeah, but okay, you'd say in Adelaide then, the biggest, like the, probably the best place to go to the sports, sports fishing scene. Totally. You know what I mean? Like they've got the best price on reels, all the good quality stuff. Rain uh, Ants used to be good. But, used to be good. Yeah, they But like they've got a massive selection of Wilson, if you're into Wilson now, which we're just slowly working their way over to it. Australia, mate, well, where's your Wilson? I haven't seen your Wilson yet. No, but it will definitely have a Wilson. Yeah, you want to spend another six hundred dollars on a, a fishing rod, then you've got to put another six hundred dollars away. Um, fourteen hundred dollar reel on it. That's it. So, well, so I do you, have a, I have a spare spot for rods at all. That's right. It's so always a spare spot. We are ready to go. This is that. little ramp today usually we're just coming in this time now but today we're lucky enough to be going out now so we're gonna break day day filthy look at these windows mate cleaned them too before we come out off we go hopefully we can catch some fish for you guys it take us about an hour an hour and ten minutes Cruising speed, 3,400 RPM. That's where I get the best fuel economy in the Yamaha 300. What do you got here, mate? Big rocky, mate. That's a nice looking rocky. Yeah, crocfish, mate. It's a big rocky, mate. Sneak, eh? Big rocky, sneak. 
That's the first, uh, first snake we've had out here. Don't make your bed all dirty, mate. Turn the towel. Yeah. Hitting on the way up, mate. Snakey snake. Go tell King George. Uh, tea's ready. I'm not in a snake yourself? No, no. Nice, freshly cooked and straight on the barbie, but... Oh, come on, mate! Fuck, what kind of circus is this? <laughs> we just had a little drama. And uh, we thought we were bloody uh, stranded out here. But, as you seen earlier, I caught that snoot. and actually hit our water, um, electric steering off. And we're lucky we had a boat's number that from Yamaha who actually um, texted us and told us that the circuit breaker has been flicked off. So that was a big help. And uh, dirty old Snoop got us again, mate. So good. Fucking losing steering. 50, 50k out. Not a good feeling, but yeah. That's the problem now. Everything's digital. This is all digital steering. One little short circuit, one little problem, and um, bang, you lose your whole system. So, like he was just a circuit breaker. But the fish, fish knocked off and, yeah, hit. I thought it was going to drop off and uh, yeah the rollers started coming through now. Can't really see it on camera but yeah we'll give it uh, another 45 minutes. If we uh, got no George we're going to shoot in the Stansbury. Moor up. Moor up on one of the boys they've got out by the jetty. We can moor up in there where it's nice and calm and uh, hopefully get the barbecue on hey. And then we'll be uh, refreshed for um, some King George Whiting action first thing in the morning. So, can only do what we can do. We tried. Oh, it is, a little fella. Little French, mate. Okay, we pulled in the stands for each night, come into the moorings. It's too bloody rough out there. So, the wind is supposed to pick up tonight, as long as it drops out tomorrow morning. I know there's big, strong weather when wind warnings coming in for tomorrow afternoon. So long as that doesn't come through early, we'll be right. Yeah, mate, got the barbie cranking. Mean up there, mate. Where's the fully, mate? Twin stars. <laughs> got it all here, mate. But this is probably one of the best locations for moorings, though. Yeah, the only one that I know of. If anyone else knows of any, please hit us up. Yeah, any uh, moorings around. And, um, yes, Adelaide, South Australia, York Peninsula. Um, yeah, how many's here? One, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven, I reckon, yeah. eh? So, yeah, so, hit us up, man, if you uh, know any others. Storm's coming in, so we're going to go home. Okay, we've got the uh, boat all cleaned. 
she's all done. All clean. Salty cat and white's a treat. That's all ready to take into um, uh, take into uh, Pacific Marine tomorrow. I really don't want to take the boat there because I can't stand them. I actually had a uh, deposit down on a 670 HT before I brought this one with them, and it was a year and a half wait bill. Put a 30 grand deposit down, um, cancelled my order with the boat still being a year and a half out. And uh, yeah, they kept five grand of my deposit for, um, yeah, apparently I screwed them around. So I tried everything to buy a boat from interstate before, um, but Bar Crusher wouldn't let me. So yeah, I ended up uh, getting this one through Blake's Marine in Sydney. So yeah, happy days. It's a different boat. Who you on the only Barbie today, buddy? On the Barbie today, mate. On the Barbie. Ain't no gar. No, nah, some loinies and some olgas, mate. That's all. <laughs> no gar, though, nah, is it? It's supposed to be uh, lunch on the boat, but... Hey, safety first, eh? Yeah, mate.